Were you created for vain? Were you created for vain games? For chasing after sand? For chasing after something that is temporary? Bye. Why are you slogging and studying? I need a good education. Why you need a good education to get a good degree? Why you need a good degree to get a good job? Why you need a good job to get a good salary? Why you need a good salary so that I can give my children a good education? So that they can get a good degree and they can get a good job and they can get a good salary and they can give their children a good education. A meaningless cycle. Is this what the wujud of insan is for? Is that what this why Allah created the seven heavens and the seven earths? Is this why Allah is causing the sun to rise and set? So that this insan can hang out after sand and hang out after something that is temporary. And you are not going back to Allah? These questions were asked by Allah in the Quran for a reason. So that you ponder and reflect. Quran is not a meaningless kitab. Quran is not something you take out in Ramadan only and put on the shelf and forget about it for the rest of the year. Quran is not something you come for Taraweeh Salah and make sure you go to that masjid where it's Ya Lamun, Ta Lamun, the Hafiz is finished the quicker, quickest. Quran is the message from Allah to this creation. Quran is a living entity. Man ja'alahu, amamahu, qadahu ila al-jannah. He who will live by the Quran, Allah says it will take him to Jannah. Wa man ja'alahu khalfahu, qadahu ila al-nar. And if he puts it behind its back, it will take him to Jahannam. If all this came into existence on its own, this is the meaning of that question which Allah is asking. If all this came into existence on its own, then you are free. Then you don't have to differentiate between milk and wine. And you don't have to differentiate between halal and haram. And between zina and chastity. And between riba and halal earning. Then you are free. But if there is a purpose behind the creation of all this, and what Allah has created all this, Quran is saying, Inna ja'alna ma'ala al-ardi zinatan laha linabluwakum ayyuhum ahsanu amala. Alladhi khalaqa al-mawta wal-haya liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala. Allah is testing you. Do not think this life is in vain. Do not think that a moment that is past is lost forever. No! Everything is being recorded. Do you think you are going to die and it's going to end there? No! Everything is being recorded. Every word you utter is being written down. Each time your eyes trace, it is written down. Each time your heart plans the disobedience of Allah, it is written down. Those angels of Allah are recording everything. And the day is going to come when you will have to stand in the court of Allah. Mm -hmm.